Hey guys, it's Roya, and today I'll be talking about position. Position is defined as an object's location in relation to a reference point, and that's usually labeled zero if you're working in one dimension, or the origin if you're working in two dimensions. Now, um, say there was this really cute guy sitting in the movie theater, and I wanted to sit next to him because maybe we'd strike up a conversation or something. I don't want to be too obvious, I don't want to sit one chair away, but maybe I'll sit two chairs away. And if I want to do that, I have two options. I can sit here, or I can sit here. These are both the same distance away from the boy, but they're at different uh, locations in space. Therefore, one must be the positive, or in the positive two direction, and one must be in the negative two direction. Now, this can be positive, and this can be negative. It doesn't matter, just as long as there's only one of each. Now, say this is an aerial view of my car, and say that this is my house over here, and I love my house, it's really pretty and nice, and this is my neighbor's house, and it's not so great. Now, um... These two houses, even though they're the same distance away from my car, occupy different locations in space, and therefore must have different coordinates. For example, this one might be 1, 1, and this one might be 1, negative 1. The coordinates are different. Now, let's see, uh, let's say I wanted to change my location. How would I, uh, how would I depict that? I could say delta x, or change in x, and that's if I'm moving along the x-axis. Say I'm driving my car along this road, um, in this direction to get a better view of the two houses, that would be a change in X. Say the boy winked at me, so I moved closer to him, or say he smelled bad, so I moved further away. That would be a change in X, and you can use delta X. Now say um, there was a change in Y. Say I decided to go this way along this street because I wanted to get away from my neighbor's house and park in front of mine. That would be delta Y, because I'm only moving up or moving down. Or say here, um, my chair exploded and I shot up into the air. Or there was an earthquake and I fell down into the core. Not actually. Um, this would be a change in Y because you're only going up or down along one axis. Now say I wanted to smash my car into my neighbor's house because I wanted his house to fall and crumble and explode. That would be a change in S. And S stands for spatial position or spa uh, spatial location. And this can be used for anything. It's all inclusive. It can be up, down, sideways, two directions. Um, you can use it in 2D and 3D, uh, especially helpful. So therefore, if you're unsure about what to use, just use delta S because that can be used for any type of motion.